Hey guys, what's up? It's Sunilian here. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below before you continue watching. So in this video, we're going to discuss the elite mode of the game. So you tap on fight on the bottom right corner. And then you'll see elite down here. You'll see that in the elite mode, there are a bunch of different fights that you can do. And each fight gives you different types of rewards. On elite mode, you'll fight these different characters to gain scrolls and upgrade equipment. Now, here, certain characters like Matsumoto only give you upgrade equipment, whereas Ganju allows you to actually collect Ganju shards, which you can use to upgrade Ganju if you have him unlocked. Now, in the elite mode, you will also be able to use more than your regular amount of characters. Elite mode allows nine characters to be used. So, the first six here, one, two, three, four, five, six, are the characters that will actually be playing. And these three in the back are your three characters whose rage attacks you can use. They're not actually on the field fighting with you. But every three turns, they get a rage attack. And they can use the rage attack to help to defeat, you know, the strongest characters. What I recommend doing with the elite mode is when you spend your 12 energy to play the elite mode, save all of your rage attacks till the end. Because at the end of however many waves there are, two or three waves, you'll have to fight the main character for that level and the elite bosses are er, elite mode characters are usually a bit stronger so when you want to play elite mode you can do quick sweep here and quick sweep allows you to see what stages you've unlocked and what rewards you can get so here are all the stages that I've unlocked and that I can try to sweep for you can sweep each elite mode battle three times a day. Now the second thing to look at here is the star chest. Now the star chest is uh, awarded to you when you complete a certain amount of battles. So here for the first one you have to get nine stars which means you beat three people. And so for the last one where you need 210 stars that means that you have to beat all 70 characters. So, I've got up to level 33 right now because I have to beat Jinta right now. Last thing you can look at here on this tab is if you tap on formation, it takes you right out to the elite battle formation. Now, don't forget to use the sweeps sparingly in the beginning because they do cost 12 stamina to use. Now, the other thing you can do if you don't want to just sweep randomly... You tap on your character, ooh, that's loud. Tap on your character, and then go to their equipment and tap on the equipment that you need. And it'll actually pull up the characters uh, that are going to provide the equipment that you need and the upgrade scrolls that you need. So when I do my sweeps, I usually don't do it from the elite battle page. I only use the elite battle page when I'm going to battle new uh, bosses. But usually I do my elite battle sweeps from here on the character page. I hope this helped you guys out. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. Thanks for watching.